how many sessions do you actually have to do in order to get the results you're looking for? That's what we're gonna cover in today's video. In other videos that we've done and in other videos I'm sure that you watch, the conversation of how many hours somebody needs to do is often part of the process. I'm gonna do 10 hours, I'm gonna do 20 hours, I'm gonna do 40 hours. These are numbers you're gonna hear or see very often. So one question or one answer would be the total number of sessions a person needs to do. But the other side of that is what's the frequency? In other words, can I do 40 sessions at once a month? Could I do two sessions every day for 20 days in a row? What's the right frequency to do hyperbaric sessions in order to get the results ultimately that you're looking for? Like almost every other video that we do on this type of topic, the real answer is it's going to depend on what you're looking for. However, I could say this, frequency is critical. For almost every single thing that you can possibly want hyperbaric to help you with, frequency is definitely gonna be part of that equation. The overwhelming majority of studies done in hyperbaric are done at a frequency of at least five sessions a week. So most are five sessions a week, most could be 60 to 90 minutes, at five sessions a week, so maybe Monday through Friday with the weekends off. There are some studies at a frequency of maybe three or four sessions a week. Anything less than that, there will be a decrease in the effectiveness of that therapy, that's for sure. There are very few health goals or very few health issues that we're really trying to work with where a frequency of two sessions or less a week is gonna be viable. So the overwhelming majority of sessions are gonna be three times a week, four times a week, five times a week, six times a week. There are even times where we have patients do 60 to 90 minutes twice a day, five or six days a week in order to accumulate the amount of hours they need to, to get their goals, to reach those goals. So frequency is absolutely critical. As a clinician, our job is to match the intensity of the therapy we're delivering to the severity of the issue or the intensity of the goals that the patient has. So whether we're talking about the total amount of pressure that the patient's gonna require for their therapy, the total number of visits for that initial protocol, or the frequency of those visits, or the duration of those visits, all of that needs to be accounted for. And we can generally use lower pressures, less number of sessions, less frequent and less time for less severe, more wellness-based or general health improvements or you know, mild immune system responses or mild inflammatory issues or mild mitochondrial dysfunction, we can really lower the intensity and the frequency and the duration. When we have a patient who has a really severe issue or a very acute issue or something that requires an intense therapy, now we have to start raising the pressure, raising the frequency, raising the duration, raising the total number of sessions that they're going to need in order to get better. So we have to use that same framework when we're looking at pressure, frequency, duration, and total number of sessions. For the most part, the thing that comes out of my mouth most frequently for most patients is four to six hours a week for eight to 10 weeks. That's generally going to cover a lot of the generic inflammatory, baseline autoimmune, early neurodegenerative, general health and well-being, low immune system responses, high inflammatory responses, moderate mitochondrial dysfunction. A lot of those types of issues or goals can be covered in that four to six hours a week for eight to 10 weeks. If you like this information, if you find it valuable, please hit the like button, absolutely subscribe. We're putting out new content all the time. YouTube absolutely rewards us by getting more people to find this information when more people are liking and subscribing. So please allow us to help other people as much as we're helping you. Like it, subscribe it, and send this video to somebody that you might think will benefit from it. Now, each case is gonna be a little different. This person has two or three autoimmune diseases. This person, the severity is really intense right now. This person, it's much more mild. This person's just looking to improve their performance in their life and reduce their stress. All of those have to be taken into account when determining the frequency of the sessions. Very few people are going to be under three hours a week, at least for that initial protocol. Most people are gonna be four to six hours a week. Once you do the initial protocol, get the initial response that you're looking for, take that first break to let the body just readjust and recalibrate, then you can move into more of what's the second protocol gonna look like? What's the maintenance protocol gonna look like? And then we can reduce the frequency. Maybe that is one or two hours a week. Maybe that's one or two hours a month. That could vary once we have a better idea of exactly what the results were for that patient in their initial protocol. Their secondary tertiary protocols 
will start to just unfold naturally from there. So I hope that helps answer the frequency question. Thanks for your attention and we'll see you next video. Whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.